story to tell. Following the success of the FA-15 fourth generation light fighter program, which has been widely exported and proven to be highly effective in Iraq and Philippines. Korea Aerospace Industries developed a fifth-generation fighter named KF-21 Boromir. The KF-21 Stair Fighter Program represents South Korea's great ambition because it has relatively little experience in the field of military aviation. Currently, only three countries in the world, the US, China, and Russia, can produce their own fifth generation fighters. The KF 21 is classified as a fifth generation twin engine jet fighter. There are also reveals that it is only a 4.5 generation fighter because it is not really stealthy. The KF-21 is built with low maintenance and uses costs in mind at a reasonable price. The first fighters will be equipped in large numbers for the Republic of Korea Air Force. The KF-21 is expected to be a key to reaching Southeast Asian customers who have previously appreciated the FA-15 light fighter. The Korean Air Force is one of the largest in the world today. Korean fighters are mostly purchased from the US and are slowly approaching the end of their life. Therefore, the KF-21 fighter has the advantage that it will be mass-produced. First, to replace the number of third-generation fighters, such as the F-4E or F-5E, about 235 units in the Korean Air Force. Such a large number will allow the production scale of the KF-21 to surpass all other fifth-generation fighter programs in the world, behind only the US F-35 and China's J-20. However, the cost and operating cost of the KF-21 will be higher than that of the third-generation fighter especially compared to the F-5E. This will mean that the number of squadrons will be reduced or will be significantly smaller in size. In addition to replacing third-generation fighters, the KF-21 is also likely to replace a large part of South Korea's current fleet of fourth-generation fighters, including the F-16 and F-15K. South Korea received its first F-16 fighter jets in the 1980s and is currently operating 163 aircraft, along with 60 F 15 Ks. Overall, the F 15 K is still a modern heavy fighter and is capable of both ground attack and air to air runs. Neither the F 35 nor the KF 21 can match its performance and durability. The F-16 is a low-cost, light fighter, but is increasingly seen as about to become obsolete in the near future. 
despite being regularly upgraded by South Korea. The F-16 has also expired or is nearing the end of its service life and needs to be removed from combat service. And the aircraft of choice was the KF-21. In addition to serving in the Republic of Korea Air Force, the KF-21 is expected to be sold on the export market. Southeast Asian countries are expected to be the first customers, such as Thailand, the Philippines, Indonesia, and possibly even Iraq. These countries are still operating the FA-15 F-16 or F-5, which the KF-21 was designed to replace. Despite having less stealth than the F-35 and using a weaker engine, the KF-21 has the advantage of lower operating and maintenance costs. The KF-21 fighter will have a greater speed and service ceiling than both the F-16 and F-35 and be equipped with a range of modern weapons. The most notable is Taurus, a Swedish German air-launched cruise missile, which is being equipped on South Korea's F-15K heavy fighter. It is worth noting that the Taurus cruise missile has been licensed by Korea and produced domestically. In addition, the KF-21 can also be equipped with medial air to air missiles with range nearly twice that of the M120 AMRAAM missiles on the F-35. The KF-21 is also expected to be compatible with U.S. missiles, meaning they can use the M260 long-range air-to-air missile, which is expected to enter service near the end of the decade. The M260 is faster, more versatile, longer-range, more reliable, and cheaper than the medial. The Korean defense industry has extensive experience with high-performance and cost-effective weapon systems, such as the K-9 Thunder Gun, the K-2 Black Panther Man Battle Tank, the F-A-50 Fighter Jet, or Hyun Mu-3 Cruise Missile. The KF-21 is expected to be one of the most successful fifth-generation fighter programs in the world. My video about Korea KF-21 Stealth Fighter Program answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.